Hey there, and welcome back to part four of studying for the 2022 to 2026 technician level exam. We are in sub element D of element one, and these questions are a little more tricky, so be very careful with them. So we'll start with question one. With which countries are FCC licensed amateur radio stations prohibited from exchanging communications? And the answer is A, any country whose administration has notified the ITU that it objects to such communications. So you'll have to check, that, check those out and be careful. All righty, number two. Under which of the following circumstances are one-way transmissions by an amateur station prohibited? Now, these are one-way, meaning that you're not having a conversation with somebody else and you're not calling CQ. It's broadcasting. So we're not running radio stations. We are looking for contacts to talk, talk to somebody else. So broadcasting is we don't do that. So remember that. Question number three, when is it permissible to transmit messages encoded to obscure their meaning? Normally, that is a no-no. But if you are controlling a space station or radio control craft, you are allowed to use encoded messages. Because you sure don't want somebody else taking over your airplane or your space station. Question four, under what conditions is an amateur station authorized to transmit music using a phone emission? Honestly, I've never heard this, but it says when incidental to an authorized retransmission of a manned spacecraft communications. So memorize that answer. It's only when it's incidental. Otherwise, no music. Question number five of sub element D. When may amateur radio operators use their stations to notify other amateurs of the availability of equipment for sale or trade? You are able to do this, but it cannot be a regular basis. So when selling amateur radio equipment and not on a regular basis, if you're using amateur radio and broadcasting and, and we're saying broadcasting because this is to the general public and you're making a business of that and using the airwaves to promote it, then that's a no, no. Do it on YouTube. Question six, what, if any, are the restrictions concerning transmission of language that may be considered indecent or obscene? Despite what you will hear on the air, any such language is prohibited there are places where you will hear some very foul language and it is unacceptable but it does happen what types of amateur stations can automatically retransmit the signals of other amateur stations and these are a repeater an auxiliary or space stations there are repeaters on space stations and, and such. Repeaters might have one call sign, but it retransmits the signal of you, the technician, or me, amateur extra. Question eight, in which of the following circumstances may the control operator of an amateur station receive compensation for operating that station? There's only one special circumstance and that is when the communication is incidental to classroom instruction at an educational institution that is the only time so teachers professors those are the only ones they get paid to teach and if they want to introduce amateur radio into the classroom then they are allowed to and still get paid Question number nine of sub element D. When may amateur stations transmit information in support of broadcasting, program production, or news gathering, assuming, now that's assuming no other means is available? The only time is when such communications are directly related 
to the immediate safety of human life or protection of property. Question 10. How does the FCC define broadcasting for the amateur radio service? And those are transmissions intended for reception by the general public, meaning non-licensed people. So the general public. Again, we don't do that. You don't use two meters to run your radio station. Those are called pirates. And the last question in sub-element D for element one is when may an amateur station transmit without identifying on the air? Do not be fooled by the, um, the, the never or this one right here. You, you cannot accept when transmitting signals to control model craft. So I have not seen many controlling model craft using amateur radio, but it's out there. I'm sure if you just look, I have not looked, but I think the requirement is that your call sign has to be on your transmitter. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the rule. But if you're going to get into this, you do your due diligence and research. So that is section D or uh, sub element D of the 2022 amateur radio e exam for technician. And I hope these are helpful. I've had these spread out and scheduled now. There's a playlist up to this point with past episodes. Go check those out. Join us for trivia and let's get you on the air. 73 from W1RCP.